So yeah. as far as your real estate investing journey, what have you focused on? Uh, fixing flips, uh, wholesaling, uh, what, what niches of real estate have you like really been involved in and like just knocked it out of the park? Uh, yes, is the answer to all of them. Yeah. Look, here's the thing. As you become more intelligent in your industry, you see more opportunities. So, you know, the TV show Flip in Boston pigeonholed me as the, you know, the grumpy construction guy who just got it done. Ah which is all BS. It's reality TV. It's, it's Mickey Mouse, right? But the reality of it was, is I really did buy houses with my partner. We really did renovate them, you know, fix them, sell them and make a profit. Um, you know, wholesaling is, is easier money. Um, it's just great negotiation skills, understanding the mechanics. Uh, I think the biggest disservice in the education space is that people say, you know, if you know how to just learn how to be a wholesaler and make quick money, well, that's, that's garbage. You got to know how to be a rehabber so that you can be a great wholesaler, right? If you don't understand the mechanics, the numbers, the time, the ARVs, et cetera, et cetera. So I've always been in that field, always, always will be in that field, although it's not my focus so much today. Along the way, buy and hold, get some cash flow coming in, get some appreciation, let the tenant go to work and pay down your debt service for you. Thank you very much. Treat them like the gold that they are. Don't be a slum landlord. Give them clean, decent, affordable housing. Give them a response immediately when they need you, if you can, to make sure that you build that relationship with them. They're the most valuable asset that you have as a real estate investor is your tenant base. And then today, you know, we, we level up. It's always a case of leveling up. I can't sit still. It's my, it's my ADD DNA. And today we, uh, we're in the uh, commercial real estate space. I run a $100 million private equity fund that invests in multifamily assets in the, uh, in the Sun Belt. And we just, uh, we just started our build for rent um, strategies where we've got six, six um, acreage plots in Florida, another eight acreage plots in South Carolina and Atlanta. And uh, now we're going to be building houses for the uh, folks who want to rent and not own. So there's a trajectory, Jay. Which part of that do you want to address first? <laughs> well, yeah, you've done it all and, and it's just it's just part of ascending up the ladder. Now, you just yeah. mentioned that you've got uh, a pretty large fund um, yeah. for the commercial projects. So uh, like myself, you know a whole lot about yeah. growing capital, attracting capital. I mean, mm. both you and I could talk a long time about that, but let's just stop here for a moment.